Hey guys, RPM here. All right, so today in this video, I wanna show you guys how to get started on farming Chia on Flexpool. So they recently just announced that today, and so, well, as of recording this video, and so I wanna show you guys how to do that real quick. It's it's very, very simple. There's a, a great how-to that they created on their website. I'll have it linked down below in case you guys don't wanna watch this video and you rather uh, read on a website. I know some people rather like reading than watching a video, so this may be helpful for you. Very easy to do if you want to farm Chia on Flexpool today, all right? So link down below. But I'm gonna show you guys from the very beginning, like especially if you just bought a hard drive and you are wondering how to you know, plug it into your machine and maybe you're not seeing it in your Windows right now, okay? So for example, I don't have any hard drives showing up on my machine right now, but I do have about three or four hard drives plugged in. So let's get started. We're gonna go from the very beginning as if someone was wanting to uh, get started in this whole chia farming journey such as myself i actually i'm literally just starting now so all right so let's go to computer management all right you want to type that in into the search bar here and then you'll want to go to disk management okay so assuming that you've already plugged in your hard drives into your machine all right your computer you should already see, you know, your hard drive. So for me, I only have, uh, I have five different hard drives in here. Uh, one is actually an NVMe. It's like a Samsung uh, NVMe, which I'm going to be using for plotting. But these other hard drives here, I have an eight terabyte, I have another four terabyte and uh, four terabyte and four terabyte. So you can see these four drives here are going to be for my plots, essentially. So in order to see these hard drives in your, you know, devices and drives on the file explorer, you'll have to, you know, make them into a volume and give them a drive letter. All right. So we're going to just go right click my eight terabyte here. We're going to go to new simple volume. So you get this welcome to new simple volume wizard. You're just going to hit next and uh, leave it. You're just going to hit next. Assign a following drive letter. So you can do whatever letter you, you want. I'm just going to leave it as default. We're going to hit next. And then here it's going to say format this volume with the following settings. So yeah, we're going to keep it as NTFS default. Volume label is where you can give any name you want. I'm just going to call it 8TB so that I know that it's a 8 terabyte hard drive. We can do perform quick format and hit next and finish. And there you go. It should show up on, let's see here. It should show up under devices and drives right now. So there you go. So that's how you can see a brand new hard drive onto your computer, okay? Now, let me just quickly do that to my other drives here. Okay, and so with the magic of video editing, I just did the other two and there we go. All right, so we can see now I have, <laughs> basically these are called JBODs, all right? Just a bunch of disks just open like this okay so this is where my plots are going to be and i totally forgot to do my uh, nvme so let's just do that quickly here and uh, one tv nvme there we go and that should be done all right so now you can close this next we want to uh, just verify you can see your disks there you go okay next you want to go to the chia blockchain all right so i'll have this link down below you want to download the latest version it looks like there was an update about six hours ago version 1.2.2 so we're going to hit the chia setup we're going to download this actually i already downloaded it so uh, we're going to go to my downloads folder it'll be the same for you guys so that's the only thing i downloaded today <laughs> Uh, so we're going to double click on the Chia setup 1.2.2 and depending on when you're watching this video there potentially might be a new uh, new version okay but anyways always check back at the github I'll have it linked down below okay so here we go it looks like it opened up right away now it says sign in welcome to Chia please log in with an existing key or create a new key so for me I have to create a, a brand new one and uh, this is just for demonstration purposes uh, you guys are gonna see my wallet address or whatever the seed keys I'm gonna have to redo this all again so okay so shortly after it should show up a bunch of words which you have to write down alright this is very important for you to in case your machine decides to die you lose all your info um, you didn't lose your Chia as long as you keep these seed keys hidden somewhere in a safe place, you know, fire prevention, just in case you need to go back to it. So write these words down in order and you should be good. So we're going to hit next. All right. So then you should now see this whole screen here. The, this is the GUI for the Chia blockchain. 
and it should say full node overview. It looks like it's going to start syncing right now and uh, I, I'd, I would advise you to make sure it syncs fully. Let's follow the Chia Farming GUI Farmer on Flexible. So first thing, all right, we're going to select your region. Very easy and one of the best things about this guide here, actually we hit refresh, you can see this latency part here is where you want to figure out the fastest server for you to pool. All right, for Chia. So for me, it's going to be United States West. Looks like I only get 15 milliseconds there. So that's that's extremely good. So I'm going to go there. But some people might be in the East. Some people might be in Europe or in Asia. As you guys can see, they have different servers for you. So for me, I'm going to be choosing this one. So we're going to hit copy on that. Now, the next step, all right? So there's two different methods here. If you are already a farmer or a new farmer, so choose whichever one, follow this guide depending on what you're trying to do here. But for me, I'm gonna be doing the new farmer in this demonstration. So what we need to do, we need to go create your plot NFT and point it to Flexpool. So plot NFT is a smart contract that allows creation of plots with a possible further change of reward destination, which is used for pool switching, all right? So easy, easy enough, we're gonna go here. We're we're going to go to pool and now it should say smooth out your XCH farming rewards by joining a pool. That's so cool. So we're going to do that. Join a pool. Then it says here you need XCH to join a pool. So we need to add XCH from the faucet. We're going to click on that. So what we need to do, we need to go back to the Chia GUI here. We need to find out your address. So we're going to go to wallets. Then you need to go to your receiving address. All right. So you want to hit the copy button here and you go back to the web website here the chia faucet all right now we're going to paste that in okay and we're going to hit i'm not a robot you're going to do all this verify and submit accepted your request is in the queue and will be processed in the order it was received all right so we should hopefully receive some chia but we actually have to wait for the uh the whole full node to sync in order to see that so you know what? I'm going to come back in a second, guys. We'll see this full node synced and we will continue on with the Flexpool Chia setup. All right. Be right back. OK, so it took about a day and a half for my full node to fully sync. As you guys can see here, the status is synced. And also my wallet is also synced as well. And you can see I have some XGH in my wallet thanks to the faucet and by the way if this faucet doesn't work there are actually multiple faucets out there chia faucets i'll have this link down below you guys can also use these other faucets as well all right to getting xch just a little bit of xch in your wallet just so you can get started okay guys so when that's all good your full note is synced next step is simply go to plots all right now we're going to add the plot and uh, I know we could add the pool, all right? We could join the pool by going to pool, but we can actually join by going to plots first. So if you're just new, like I said, just like me, we're gonna go it through this way, all right? So we're gonna add a plot. I'll show you guys what I mean in a second here. So we're gonna do plot size of 101, right? That's the default. Uh, we're gonna do plot count one. We're just gonna do one just as a demonstration. Uh, you guys can do more depending on your processor. Uh, you know, you can add more threads if you want. I think I'm going to do like, I don't know, six here. I have a Core i5 11400, 11th gen CPU. So you can add as many threads as you, as you have depending on CPU. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna, I'm going to do that. Now select temporary directory number three here. So this is going to go to my 1TB NVMe, all right? This is for my fast plotting drive, okay? So that's, that's gonna be the temporary drive. I'm gonna select that. Now select number four here, select final directory, all right? So this is where the destination folder will store your plots for farming. All right, so that's gonna go on to either my eight terabyte or four TBs here. I'm just gonna do my eight terabyte for now. I'm gonna select that. And there you go. Now, the last and most important part here is join a pool. Okay, so we're going to join a pool so that we can get some consistent XGH farming rewards. All right, create the plot NFT and assign your new plots to a group. So we're going to join a pool. Okay, uh, we're going to connect to the pool. And this is actually where we have to go back to a flex pool. And you can see this part here where we selected your region. We did earlier, but I'm going to have to do it again. So we're going to do that. Okay, I'm doing US West. We're going to paste that in. Okay. Now, there you go. That's basically it. Now, you just have to hit create at the bottom. And there we go. So, it's going to start plotting now. I'm actually going to 
take note of how long this is going to take. So it's about 9.16 p.m. And I'm going to see how long it's going to take for my CPU to plot. By the way, there is a faster plotter called Mad Max, which I am going to do another video about. And I heard it's it's definitely way faster. And uh, yeah, I'll have another video about that. But if you want to do that, guys, Mr. Serpent X Special Forces, he is another amazing crypto mining YouTuber. He has many videos about using Mad Max uh, to, to create Chia plots, okay, NFT style. So uh, link down below to Mr. Serpent X Special Forces, guys. Check out his Mad Max videos. Okay, so guys, that's going, all right? And also, if you go to pool, you should see now that the pool should start. Oh, it looks like it went away. Uh, let me just go back to here. There we go. All right. So it looks like uh, I just need to refresh it, but it's connected to uh, flexpool.io. Guys, we're going to come back. I'm going to wait for my plot to be done. Looks like it's about 6%. So uh, yeah, we'll see how long it takes. I'll let you guys know in one sec. All right. So the plotting for my single plot here on my machine took about... Uh, I would say three hours <laughs> with an i5 11400 CPU, as you guys can see, 11th gen. So I would definitely recommend those that are maybe wanting to try the Mad Max that will be a lot faster. Okay, like I said before, Serpent has videos on it and I will make a video of the Mad Max Chia Plotter uh, for you guys later on. But yeah, it took quite a while, three hours for one plot on my machine. So I heard the Mad Max you can do in less than an hour, which is pretty fast. So, all right guys, so once your first plot is done, you can go ahead, you can add more plots if you'd like. All right, actually, if you go to pool, on the left side of the menu here now you can see your pool that you're connected to and you can see here number of plots it shows that I now have one and so like I said it took about three hours for the plot to finish and then afterwards I did leave it for another 12 hours and just so that it could show up on flexpool and so now if you want to see your worker on a flexpool you simply go to the three dots here all right and then view the pool login link all right you can just copy that to clipboard and now you can go, uh, you just have to paste it into your address. All right, there you go. All right, and this is your Chia, or this is mine, uh, my test one. Anyway, I'm going to have to delete this and do it all over again. But look at that, guys. Take a look at that. You can see the average space. That's obviously one, my one plot. It says it's inactive, but that's because I guess I just have one plot. I need to have more, but it is uh, apparently, you know, figuring out the shares, I guess, the points <laughs> per se, which is quite interesting. Uh, I haven't earned any Chia yet, but uh, this is just an example for you guys. All right, so there you go. That's it. That's how you get mining on uh, your Chia for if you just started and uh, Flexpool, of course, okay? So actually, I just want to end off with showing you guys how to add a plot. So if you want to add more plots, simply you can do it through the same three dots here and then add a plot, all right? And so the biggest change here is that it'll automatically uh, pretty much filter in your existing pool that you have already, right? Otherwise, if you wanted to do it through plot tab here, uh, you can do add a plot as well. But at the bottom, you'll simply just have to select your uh, pool NFT plot, okay? Uh, pool. So there you go. That's it, guys. Let me know your thoughts on how to mine Chia. That was honestly pretty easy, uh, but there just are some caveats of waiting for the full node to sync. You have to wait for your wallet to sync, uh, get the faucet, uh, creating your plots. It all takes time, right? All takes time. So yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts. And also, forgot to mention that Flexpool is having their extra a XCH a day. All right. So they say here for the first seven days, we are giving out two XCH a day at random times as a launch promotion at our current farm rate, two petabyte, which I believe it's way bigger than that. Now, this means that you'll make 400% more here on for the next seven days and guarantee income. So there you guys go. That's pretty cool on Flexpool. All right, guys, that's it. Let me know your thoughts again. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one and peace out. I have to, uh, I'm, I'm going to have to redo all this. I'm going to have to delete this and create a new private key. Thankfully, it's easy to do.